Welcome back. In this video, we're looking at some of the most important metrics you should track as you build and launch your landing pages. The three metrics that I'm going to focus on are conversion rate, customer acquisition cost, and customer lifetime value. If you ask any growth marketer for their list of the most important things to track, chances are these three metrics are on the list. They're just that important. And oftentimes, as a conversion optimizer, your goal will be to improve one or more of these metrics. So it's very important to get familiar with them. First up is conversion rate. It can be formally defined as the percentage of users who take a desired action. You can calculate the conversion rate of your landing page by dividing the total attributed conversions by the total number of visits, and then multiplying that result by 100. Let's look at an example using this landing page for our free landing page checklist. If we had 25 people opt in to receive the checklist out of 100 total visits to the page, then if we plug those numbers into the formula, our conversion rate would be 25%. This simple calculation is something you're going to come back to again and again. However, the good news is it's often calculated for you by many of the landing page tools and A-B testing tools. Next up, we have the customer acquisition cost, sometimes referred to as the CAC. This is defined as the cost to acquire a new customer. You can calculate the CAC by taking your total sales and marketing costs and dividing it by the number of new customers you acquired. This is just one way to calculate your customer acquisition cost, but of course it's not the only way. Again, let's look at a quick example. This is a metal flip clock from Victrola. It costs $49.99. Let's assume that Victrola spent $2,000 on ads, and through that campaign, they acquired 150 customers who bought the clock. If we run the numbers, we'll see that this comes out to a customer acquisition cost of $13.33. Not bad for a clock that costs $49.99. Lastly, let's look at the Customer Lifetime Value, or CLV. This is a prediction of the net profit attributed to the entire future relationship with a customer. You can calculate it by taking the annual revenue per customer and multiplying it by the average customer relationship length in years, and then subtracting the customer acquisition cost. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. For an example, we're looking at a popular calendar app from a company called AnyDo. Let's assume that they make about $10 from each customer per year, and that the average customer sticks with their subscription for three years. If we also assume that the cost to acquire that customer is just $8, then when we run the numbers through the formula, we'll see that the customer lifetime value is $22. And of course, this is just an example, just like the previous ones, and these numbers are just a guess. This is a very useful number, though, because it can help you see just how valuable a single customer can be over time. Okay, so there you have it. If you focus on those three metrics, conversion rate, customer acquisition cost, and customer lifetime value, as you continue to optimize your landing pages, you'll be in great shape to optimize what matters most and you'll also be able to measure your results in a way that's meaningful to your overall business goals. Up next, we're gonna get even more specific and look at how we can optimize forms on your landing pages. I'll see you there.